Something else that we'd like to be able to do is to put professional looking equations into our Word document. So say for instance we had a metric English conversion convert 3.5 meters to yards starting in the metric unit of length uh, of meters and going to the English unit of yards. Now in order to do this we would need to insert an equation. So if you go to the insert uh, tab and then all the way at the end of this ribbon you'll see a button for equation. It'll have the, the pi symbol. If you don't see this where it's grayed out, you want to check the top bar and if it says compatibility mode, you're going to need to do a file save as uh, and save your document in the most current uh, version of Word. Uh, it should have a .docx extension. But you would click equation and when you click on that you'll get a placeholder as well as a new ribbon up at the top. And a lot of these you probably won't get into at this point in time, um, but you have your mathematical symbols, uh, which may come in handy. You can scroll through the list or you can drop it down to see the entire list. Uh, you can change from basic math to your Greek letters, different arrows, um, even geometry if you're going to use it for something like that. Um, beyond the symbols, you have these uh, structural components. They're like templates. And honestly, the ones that you'll probably use the most here in chemistry would be the fraction um, menu and also the one for scripting. Okay, and that's for subscripts and superscripts. Um, so if we think about our equation for um, the conversion, we're going to do a metric English conversion using factor label. And we said that the first thing we want to do is put in our uh, original measurement and we want to put it over top of one uh, to help with the the ratio um, visualization and seeing how the units will factor out and so if we put in a uh, top bottom stack fraction template you see that you get the fraction appearance and you get these placeholder boxes and so in the numerator we would put our 3.5 meters and then in the bottom we'll put a one and then as we have it handwritten out and that's always a good thing to do. Handwrite it first, do your rough work, uh, and then just transpose it into the equation editor. So um, you would put the cursor then after that stacked fraction, and now we need a multiplication sign. So we put in times, now we're going to do another fraction. And in this one we're going to have 100 centimeters over, you can just press down arrow to highlight the lower box, one meter. And we're going to repeat this process until we get our entire factor label um, problem input as an equation. And so this next one will be 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters. That's our metric English bridge for length. And if you want to, you can maybe streamline the process uh, by highlighting. You can copy by control C and then paste control V and then just modify uh, as necessary if you find that to be a time saver and so there's 36 inches in one yard and now that we are at the end of our solution uh, we can put in the equal sign you can either input it from the symbols or you can just press the corresponding button on the keyboard and then you would um, put in your answer uh, as you calculate it.